Well, that's a loud B. You can really start to smell all the flowers, all the little weeds and flowers out in the woods that are, all the plants that are starting to flower. Today is uh, Tuesday, uh, a week, two, two weeks now after Easter. The first reading is the Acts of the Apostles, where the apostles are preaching at the synagogue, and uh, the guards come and see that they're preaching. They tell the uh, leaders of the, of the synagogue, and they have them brought before them, arrested, put in prison. In the night, the angel comes and tell, releases them and tells them to go and preach in the synagogue. They go first thing in the morning to the synagogue. The, syna the uh, guards or the soldiers go and want to arrest them, but no, or ask them to come in, I guess, because they said they were afraid to forcefully take them in because they thought the crowd would stone them. And so, um, Wait, am I getting that confused? Yeah, so they're out there doing it, preaching it again. And then in the gospel, it's uh, John 3, 16, uh, to, or 15 to 20 or something like that, where uh, God so loved the world, he sent his only son. And then uh, so that those who, would, those who would believe would have eternal life, I think it says, and... Those who follow the darkness will follow the darkness, and those who follow the light would obviously be following Jesus. So, uh, I gave a little presentation about silence yesterday at our youth group, and I tried to remember to do the same thing this morning in the video from Father Mike Schmitz. He talked about diverting himself while he makes breakfast and stuff, listening to tutorials and things and whatnot, as he said. And uh, I usually listen to the days, uh, the news of the day, whatever's on YouTube, by the normal people that I listen to, which is conservative. So I hear their side of it. And if I want the the liberal or I guess the Democrat or the socialist side, I just read the Washington Post. And uh, there's my counterpoint, conservative, and then the socialist uh, agenda uh, given in the Post, the Democratic mouthpiece. So I think I am fairly fair to get uh, both sides of the story. And since the socialists slash Democrats don't seem to be bothered by God or following what God says, but rather what they want to do and what they, they figured it out. They can cure all of our social ills by taking from the rich and giving to the poor. And so... And we don't need God for that, because we can do that ourselves, right? Right, Chuck? Right, Nancy? We can do all that ourselves. We are the chosen ones who can figure it all out. But again, utopia can't be found here on Earth. It's been tried. Isn't that what communist... Well, anyway, it's been tried. And... They're trying to bring heaven on earth. That's not going to work. Because heaven is heaven, earth is earth, and hell is hell. And if you're not going towards God, then unfortunately you're going the opposite direction. So if you're not heading towards God when you die, or in union with God when you die, where do you think, where do you, think you spend eternity? If you don't want him, if you didn't want him when you were alive, why would you want to be with him when you're dead, as they say? So, uh, Chuck and Joe, good luck with that. I'm not saying 
that I won't be with you in hell, but I'm just saying at least I have a clue of what of what we're supposed to be doing here on this earth. I may not accomplish it. I may not do, I may not be, I still may not get it right, but at least, at least I have a clue what I was supposed to do, what I'm supposed to be here for. I'm not here, I'm here. Yeah. Yeah, I, if that makes sense. Uh, I'm going to, yeah. So, uh, let's continue to ask the saints to pray for us. What was a saint today? There was an interesting side note. What was one of the saints? What was it? Uh, stop. Turkish, he went. Yeah, anyway, let's ask the saints to pray for us. And uh, let's pray for the souls in purgatory.